the truth of faking. Vedika Bahel joins us. Good evening to you, Vedika. India achieving that amazing milestone of reaching the moon. No sooner did they touch down on the moon than it launched all the fake images online. Tell us what you found. Yes, indeed, India made history when it became uh, the first country to land in the lunar South Pole region and only the fourth country ever to achieve a soft landing on the moon. But, however, with alongside that Chandrayaan 3's takeoff, uh, we all have also seen a horde of misinformation taking off as well. So if we start with the, one of the most viral examples that I've come across, which is this one, uh, claiming to show a permanent signature that India has left on the moon's surface, uh, saying that India's national emblem, which is these four lines, Lions there was permanently imprinted on the moon's surface by uh, the rover's tires. And according to what they're saying, Mark, that because of the atmosphere on the moon, that they will stay there forever. So, how did you manage to work out uh, that this wasn't a genuine piece of space footage? Well, the ISRO, which is India's uh, space research organization, they've shared no trace of the image on any of their social platforms, and they were pretty up to date uh, with keeping the people informed. Um, in fact, all of their visuals from uh, the, the, the moon's surface included neither imprints uh, nor emblems of any kind. Um, however, the first clue for us was really to take a closer look at the image, and it was hidden within the image itself. Now, if we zoom into this corner here, we can actually see uh, not just a watermark, but also a name. The name is is Krishanshu Garg. Now, when I was searching for this name uh, on social networks, I did come across um, a Twitter post by someone of the same name posting that same uh, photo in response to the official ones uh, shared by the ISRO. Now, that was quite interesting as well. This was on the day of the mission itself. Uh, and of course, when I managed to find uh, his um, uh, Instagram profile. Uh, he confirmed that this was in fact um, that this was in fact an artwork that he had created, um, and he also encouraged people to uh, stop forwarding it on, claiming that it was uh, something legitimate by the ISRO. Uh, he did in fact uh, reiterate as well that he had created this purely out of the excitement as a space enthusiast um, to be shared for the countdown, in fact, uh, for the space mission, which of course he did share on his story as well. You mentioned other examples of misinformation also uh, making the orbit, you might say, uh, various footage from different space missions. Tell us more. Yes, Mark, that is correct. I found uh, multiple examples of out-of-context uh, space footage that was being presented as the Chandrayaan-3. Uh, one example is this one. This one had over 109,000 views on this Facebook reel um, itself. It is animated footage claiming to be uh, the Vikram lander as part of the Chandrayaan-3 message. And the caption in Hindi reads, Today, India will make history. Uh, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Now, there's also another example uh, in video form. This one was uh, shared on Twitter, and this one claims to be from NASA. Uh, and as we can see in the tweet there, uh, claiming that it's uh, NASA's footage as part of their deep space network. Now, in this uh, video, um, it's again uh, an animation of a, of, a, of, a, of a landing on the moon's surface. However, in this one, we can actually hear a voice in the background um, towards the end of the video, uh, where we can hear an American accent saying, uh, Houston, tranquility base here, uh, the eagle has landed. Now, it, reverse image search of keyframes from both of these videos quickly confirmed to me uh, that they were being presented extremely out of context. In fact, that first video that we saw uh, when I put that into a, a video reverse image search, um, it, it gave me several results pertaining to uh, Jeff Bezos, but also, uh, interestingly, something called Blue Origin. Uh, and a simple Google search led me to their homepage, uh, where it is confirmed that uh, Bezos owns a company um, called Blue Origin, which makes a, a series of lunar landers. Uh, and in fact, on the Blue Origin official YouTube channel, uh, very quickly it was able to find this video posted from several years ago, so not Chandrayaan 3, uh, unsurprisingly, um, of that same exact uh, footage that we saw in that first video there. Now, pertaining to the one um, created allegedly by NASA, obviously we had that American accent saying the eagle has landed, uh, Houston, um, and again, keyword search, e easy to find. And on NASA's uh, official website here, we have a full transcript of that same uh, audio and the audio file itself. Um, it is, of course, uh, Neil Armstrong speaking from Apollo 11 to Houston, so not recent at all and definitely nothing to do with India. 
In terms of those uh, images that we saw there, that, uh, uh, again, a, a reverse uh, video search was able to uh, lead me here. This is a, the same video that we saw uh, recreated there. This was posted by uh, an art account that posts graphic animations. It was posted a few years ago now, so again, not recent. Uh, and it posts animations of space missions and recreations uh, using computer graphics. So yes, both these examples are completely out of context clips um, of previous lunar missions. They have, uh, they have been flipped to, to be presented again uh, as Chandrayaan-3, but no. Several, several examples of, of misinformation and fake news being, uh, being shared uh, on these uh, accounts, Mark. Sorting out the truth from the fake. Vedika Bahal, thank you very much indeed. Thanks to James for the sport. Thanks to you for watching. Stay with us. More to come here, live from Paris.